Welcome to the IGSS online training. I'm here from Seven Technologies to present our SCADA system called IGSS. This is Lesson 2, IGSS System Overview. The topics in this lesson are Program Suite in IGSS, Primary Design Tools, Scalability, and the Online Monitoring and Control Application. The IGSS software package contains a large suite of applications or modules that interact independently or with each other. The modules can be broadly categorized as one set of applications which focus on system design and one set of applications which focus on system operation such as monitoring and controlling the plant, creating reports, and supervising the process. The modules are all located in the IGSS install folder and are accessed by the IGSS master which is a single point of entry for, for the IGSS program. Furthermore, the modules are grouped in the ribbons of the IGSS master for better access and overview. These are the main system design modules. These are the modules that will be used by the system integrator or system designer who typically will be creating and setting up the project for the customer. The system configuration module is where the system designer creates, adjusts, and maintains new or existing configurations. The module gives you the basic working parts of your SCADA system and lays the foundation for the rest of the project. The definition module is used to create the mimic diagrams as well as all the required process components and connecting these to PLC addresses in the process. The user administration module is used to create the users and user groups of the project as well as setting up user rights and protection levels for the individual process components. Generally speaking, the IGSS software contains a full set of tools and applications necessary for building and commissioning a complete SCADA system without extra programming. Main System Operator Modules Arguably, the most important system operator module is one that probably shouldn't be displayed on the presentation here. That is the IGSS Starter, which allows a system operator to start, stop, and restart the system, as well as open the supervised window to monitor the process. The IGSS starter is used for versions prior to version 9 and is, and is in fact included in IGSS version 9 as well, but we recommend using the IGSS master to start the IGSS program instead. The IGSS starter functionality is contained in the IGSS master, where the operator has access to the same options. One of these options is the supervised module, which allows the operator to monitor and control the automation process as well as manipulate the process components. The supervised module opens the mimic diagram for normal process monitoring. The alarm module collects and displays all alarms generated by the system and allows the operator to acknowledge and process the alarms. The, there are many other system operator modules such as job scheduler, maintenance, dashboards and notifier, as well as the ability to modify existing reports and create custom reports and troubleshoot. Scalability from small to large. I'd like to explain a little bit about the scalability in IGSS, going from small scale to large scale operations. We start by looking at the slide which shows us how, how we start small and grow larger, adding more operators, servers, and connection options. In the middle we have a single user system. This is the smallest system available in the IGSS software package. We have a server and a monitoring process located on one and the same PC as indicated by the graphic in the middle. The PLCs are connected to the one PC, which is both server and monitoring station. We can add to the single user system and connect a remote operator to the small, perhaps, connecting the, the single user system through a public telephone or radio network. As the process grows larger, more operator systems and stations can be added to the system. And in fact, an IGSS server becomes necessary if the process expands into a multi-user system as is depicted in the light green area. This is the layer for the multi-user system. A multi-user system is defined as a system with one or more operator stations and requires a server to be set up. As a side note, an operator machine can be configured to be connected as a multi-user, but set up to continue to gather data in case of a server outage. When the server goes online again, the collected data is then synchronized back to the server this is called a single user backup operator. A second server can be implemented, for instance a backup server solution. 
In this slide, we see a hot standby IGSS server which goes online and functions as a, as a primary server to collect process data as soon as the primary server goes offline. This is the larger gray area, depicting a large multi-user solution with, with remote communications. You can also control the system via the internet at a remote location. The IGSS software supports the Ethernet, Fast Ethernet, IDSS, and Old Token Ring protocol. The Data Collection Engine One of the most important engines in IGSS is the Data Collection Engine, often abbreviated DC. The Data Collection Engine is unique for the IGSS system and is a central part of the IGSS software product, enabling the online monitoring and control which is necessary for the system. The data collection engine takes care of several functions in the IGSS online system. The DC engine sends changes that occur in the process to operator stations where operator personnel monitor and control the system. The DC engine processes sending alarms and online values to online modules, for example, the, the alarm module and the supervised module. It is also the function of the DC engine to collect and write data to the report folders. This includes log data, alarm data, and the base class data, or BCL. The data collection engine also ensures that the number of objects which are configured for the system are present in the license file. The license file on our system is called options text. Data to and from IGSS PLC drivers is sent and received by the DC engine. Among the drivers, we have OPC client-side drivers and, of course, OPC server functionality in the IGSS package, which is embedded in the DC engine. The data collection engine also ensures that the PLC connections are stable and running. And last but not least, the data collection module ensures the running of the automation interface, for example, if the VBA code is included in the project. As you can see, the data collection engine is one of the backbones of the IGS system and the DC must be running for IGSS to function. Thank you very much for your attention. For more information, please go to our website www.70.dk